After years of lackluster Spider-Man video games, Marvel's Spider-Man PS4 breaks that tradition and finally gives us one that has the love, polish, and depth of a true AAA title. It nails how it feels to be Spider-Man and its web swinging in combat, while also telling an amazing story that's full of flesh out characters and heartfelt moments, making it not only one of the best games to come out this year, but also one of the best superhero games of all time. The best part of Spider-Man PS4 is how amazing the web swinging is. Web swinging while running and web zipping makes you feel like Spider-Man, and sequencing them together makes traversal very fluid and endlessly satisfying. Part of it has to do with the perfected physics behind it, and you can actually feel the weight, speed, and momentum in the swing. Also not to mention that the webs actually attach to buildings around you, so as you traverse through New York it's important to keep that in mind. For example, the financial district can provide lots of vertical space with its tall skyscrapers, but swinging in Central Park isn't the same case, and you have to rely on trees instead. The crowdfighting combat that was inspired by the Batman Arkham series is impressive too. Bouncing around multiple enemies and dodging their attacks is buttery smooth, then mixing that with Spider-Man's different moves and different gadgets made each fight dynamic and engaging, especially against the varied enemy types he faces. I really loved the mission variety throughout the campaign as well, which consisted of not just brawler sections, but also cinematic set pieces, boss battles, and stealth segments where you play as Mary Jane and Miles Morales. Even though these sections were unfortunately formulaic with either quick time events or linear encounters, I didn't really mind it because the boss battles and the set pieces were exhilarating and full of blockbuster action, while the stealth mission served as a nice break from the fast paced action of Spidey, as well as fleshing out MJ and Miles' characters even more. That brings me to the story itself. And I was surprised to find that Spider-Man's story is just as great as his gameplay. While the story has its epic set pieces like I mentioned before, it shines mostly in its smaller, more human moments by focusing on Peter Parker as a character and exploring his relationships with the characters around him. My favorite part of the whole story was Peter and MJ's relationship. By setting their story post-breakup, it gives them both room to learn and grow from each other. Then seeing both their cute and more complicated moments as they try to figure it out makes their relationship feel complex and genuine. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? However, it was really cool seeing the villains get just as much character development as well. Without spoiling anything, the campaign takes its time to flesh out their stories and motivations. So by the time that Peter faces them as Spider-Man, you can tell that he feels for them and wishes that he could have done more. All of this happens in a massive open world that not only captures both the look and feel of New York City, but all the landmarks you come to expect including the Brooklyn Bridge and the Empire State Building but it's also full of easter eggs that will make any comic book fan go crazy. Seeing the Avengers Tower, the Sanctum Centurum, and many more locations makes me super excited because it could potentially set up this video game Marvel Universe that other superhero games could tie into. This huge open world is also full of side quests and collectibles, and they do a great job at building upon the game's story, helping New York citizens make the world feel lived in, while the backpacks hold short stories of Peter's past, and even references to other Marvel characters. Even though the crimes, outposts, and challenges felt mundane and lacked variety, as well as the lab puzzles being very simple and straightforward. The web swinging and combat in Spider-Man's gameplay loop was so fun that I never really got bored, and they were short enough to where they didn't overstay their welcome either. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reviews like this one. And while you're at it, let me know if you guys are playing Spider-Man in the comment section below. But anyways, thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.